Hi, I'm Ray Tanson, Product Manager at Personas. We're going to talk about the RM mixers with UC Surface interface. So the RM mixers are a rack mixer controlled exclusively by software. What we did is take the 3242 Studio Live AI mixer, took all of the guts from it, and we put it into a rack. And then we took the control for that and we designed it around software. And we took the Studio Live uh, VSL AI software and the SL Remote software and I put them together and created a new UC Surface workflow designed specifically for live, live sound mixing. So it, the software will run on a Windows 8 computer. Here we've got it shown on a Windows 8 touchscreen. It'll also run on a Mac, uh, runs with mouse and a keyboard, also runs on an iPad. So it gives you total freedom to run around wherever you want to go in the venue, as well as choosing the best workflow for your needs of how you want to set up your mixing setup. So let's start off talking a little bit about the hardware. All right, so we have two models of the hardware. We have the 32 channel, and we also have the 16 channel. Now, both of these have the full 32 channel mixer under the hood. The main difference is the number of physical inputs and outputs you have on the rack. This means that with the 16 channel, you can use the additional 16 inputs and eight outputs that are available inside the DSP mixer through the digital card. We have an option card in the back. It comes with Firewire 800, and then we have future option cards coming in the beginning of next year for Dante and AVB. We're also working on Thunderbolt cards. The 32 and the 16 both feature our recallable XMAX preamps. So this is the same XMAX preamp that's in our Studio Live AI mixers. We've just made it recallable now. They also feature balanced XLR outputs, a main mix left right, and a mono. On the RM mixers, the mono is its own separate bus. Headphone output with a couple of cue sources and then input meters that are going to tell you your signal, clipping, and then has a 48 volt meter mode so you can tell if you have 48 volts plugged into, uh, turned on on a channel before plugging in a microphone. A little safety measure there. Also, as far as safety, we have a mute all button in the case of an emergency or if you're hot swapping some signals, you can hit the mute all to make sure you don't get any uh, unwanted noise when you're uh, swapping out cables. So the software, though, is what really is going to make this thing stand out. That's what, what all of this is about. That's where you're going to interact with the mixers. So we created a new software. We tried to really make it tailored towards live sound and, and the battle readiness that you need in that heat of an environment. So we've got it set up where you can see metering of everything that's going on. You can see your entire mix at a glance. There's a meter bridge across the bottom where you can see all 32 inputs. You can see meters for those. You can see what channel is selected. You have a window that shows you where in the mix that you currently are. You also will see clipping on that uh, if any of your inputs clip. We have our mix select area, which every single mix button for every mix on the output on the mixer has a meter built into that button so you can always see the activity of what's going on as you're navigating your mix. The channel select area is basically like a, a giant meter bridge with faders. As you select different mixes, the meter color will change so you know where you're at and you're on that mix. So your main mix is always blue. You always know you have on, that, on the main mix, you have that confidence. We have the fat channel area across top. This has the same fat channel as the AI mixers, which is a dual AB fat channel with a full compressor, gate, EQ, and limiter. And then one of the other cool features that we've added into this is our info page. You can bring up your track types. So we have a variety of different track types. And when you set up a track type for your input, it's going to assign an icon to that. It's also going to give it a default name, which you can change at any time. And it's also going to tag that channel with some information of what type of channel it is. And that's going to come in handy when you're loading presets. It's going to filter out all of your presets based off the channel type that you've selected. So you're not cluttered with a bunch of presets for vocals when you're working on your drums. We also have a new feature coming next month called filter groups. And the filter groups are gonna take advantage of uh, a new way of navigating your mix and controlling your mix with multiple types of groups. And the channel types are gonna play into that because they are gonna create some automatic groups for you, saving you some time. So we'll be introducing that a little bit later. You'll be able to come back and check out some more of that uh, next month. So, back to some of the features we've got with our filter groups, channel info area. We also have 
graphic EQs on all of our outputs, or 15 of our outputs, and all of your effects parameters all on the chat channel. We also have mute groups and quick scene recalls, as well as a complete scene recall with filtering of different parameters for each scene. We try to do everything in a contextual way, so based on where you're at in the mix, things will change to provide you with the best information that you need at that moment. Again, it's kind of battle ready. It's designed for live mixing and to quickly navigate and be intuitive and flexible. The RM32 is $2,000 US and the RM16 is $1,399 US. They are available now. They started shipping this week so you can get your hands on them immediately.